welcome friends to another problem solving session on triangles now uh, we have a problem here which says we have to prove that the angle between internal bisector of one base angle and the external bisector of the other base angle of a triangle is equal to one half of the vertical angle so let's try and understand this first so internal bisector of one base angle so here is a triangle abd abc triangle abc and be be is the bisector is the bisector of angle abc correct and ce so abc happens to be the internal uh, angle right so this is the one base angle so one base angle is angle abc whose internal bisector is BE or whose bisector is BE. Now ACD is the external base angle and CE is the bisector bisector of angle, external angle that is ACD. ACD and within brackets I am writing external angle isn't it. So ACD is external angle, no doubt about it. ABC is the internal angle. Now if BE bisects angle ABC, so I have shown here as X, this is X and this is X because BE is the bisector of angle ABC. Similarly, I have shown this as Y, this is also Y and Y is Y because CE bisects ACD. I hope that's clear. Now we have to prove, what is to prove? Let's write that statement first. So to prove. What do we need to prove? We need to prove that angle between internal bisector of one base angle. So we are angle between internal bisectors. So this is the angle between the internal bisectors, internal angle bisector and external angle bisector. The angle between the two is this given, let's say this is Z. Okay. So they are saying we have to prove that what do we need to prove? That Z is equal to one half, half of angle a this is what we need to establish okay small z is equal to so let me write it as small z small z okay z is half angle a this is what we need to prove so let's see how we can uh, approach this again there's a triangle and angles are involved and uh, clearly we can see there is a case of exterior angle as well external angle that is so can we not say that um, 2 angle y, 2 times angle y, that is y plus y, which is ACD, right, is equal to interior opposite angle, sum of interior opposite angle, so angle BAC plus 2 times x, right, because ABC is this angle, ABC plus BAC will be equal to ACD. Exterior angle theorem, let me write this as exterior angle theorem very good right so achha, this is one another one is we can also say uh, if you take in triangle so let me write it here in triangle which triangle BEC again angle ECD angle ECD will be equal to so ECD happens to be the, so this is ECD, this is the exterior angle guys, so inter, interior angle will be for this, this one and this one. So can I not write that as X plus Z or ECD was what Y, so I can write Y is equal to X plus Z, Y is equal to X plus Z and 2Y is equal to angle A plus 2X. So let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Okay, now let's look at them together. Okay, so can I not substitute y from 2 in 1? So can I say 2 times angle x plus z? So this was y, check. 2 times x plus z is equal to angle BAC. So I'm just writing that as a plus 2x. Isn't it? So this implies 2x plus twice z 
is equal to angle A plus 2x, correct? And clearly you can see 2x will disappear, can be cancelled. So hence, 2z will be angle A. And hence, this will mean z is equal to half angle A, right? And this is what was the demand of this particular question. So we could prove that the angle formed by the internal bisector of one base angle and the external angle of the other base angle is equal to half the vertical angle. In this case, vertical angle was, was A. So in one snapshot is this, right? So in the entire proof is this. So I hope you got the solution.